Are solo random dungeons worth doing in Albion Online in 2023? That's probably what I'll title this video, but what we're doing today is we're going to farm Yellow Zone Tier 5 solo dungeons for 30 minutes. I'm not even using a speed clearing build. I'm actually trying a few new items. I want to try out Cultist Sandals, and the Mage Cow has a new Fire Breath attack. So, I'm just playing around with some stuff for 30 minutes. I'm going to eat this beef stew, and let's farm some dungeons. I do not have premium active. And I am in pretty much full 8.3, 8.4. And we're just going to casually smash some dungeons. I'm also filling up some mercenary journals as I go. Probably won't be able to fill all of them up. But I did want to just kind of check out the fire breath attack. It's pretty cool. And it's, uh, it's a little silly, but it's it's whatever, you know. It's, it's not bad. Can't really hate on it. But you can see that I'm deal dealing tremendous damage to the enemies. So pretty, pretty fun stuff. Cultist Sandal's not really the best for running through quickly on a dungeon, but I really want to try hitting a boss with it, and those dogs dropped a rune. Very cool. I cannot believe I can't one-shot the white doggos. Well, if I got eight four-bolt casters, which might purchase in the future just to have, um, I'm sure I could one-shot them then. And of course, if I built up my druidic robe, but whatever, we're just... Again, this is more casual <laughs> speedrunning dungeons, if that's even a thing, if that's even a possibility. Yeah, there's mobs over there, but I feel like I can skip them and still get the dungeon chest reward loot, whatever. So let's uh, fireball. Look at that. We hit all three of them from a distance. It's pretty cool. It's just a fun new thing to play with. It's always fun whenever they add a new spell, a new ability to the game. And I know a lot of people like the old Mage Cow, and I do too. I think the old, old, bleh, old, what is that word? Old Mage Cal is freaking awesome. I don't need to kill these mobs. We're going to the second floor. And uh, <laughs> we are, we're only killing the mobs so we can get the treasure from the bosses, okay? I'm not necessarily doing it for fame. I don't have my satchel turned on. And I don't have auto respec on. I better not have it on. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're just going to see how much silver we make in this 30 minutes and see if it's worth doing. Pro tip, spoilers, it's it's not. I'm not voicing this over in post. I'm, I'm saying this as as I go. <laughs> there we go, hit him with the fire and watch him burn. Not quite full burn, but hey, we almost did it. Now, the path is diverging here, and uh, I can pretty much almost guarantee that this is the way to the boss and not so much the way forward. So what I want to do is I want to use cultist sandals on the boss and then armor shred him with W, and then hit my E, and that should just completely melt his HP, which it did. Alright, daily is done. I didn't, that was like a what, a 5k chest? I didn't really look. Either way, kill some more of these uh, innocent people here in their little castle, underground castle, whatever. So, Q spell, 584, another Q spell, they're dead. That's without the druid robe stacks. We're just blowing things up. It is crazy. Just smashing them with our crossbows. Yeah, I, I just want to play around with some with some cool little spells here. Like, it, it's pretty interesting to use the Mage Cow. Hopefully those books don't prevent me from getting the treasure. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, the big guy, I want him to push me towards the way forward. There we go. Very cool stuff. Auto attack. And just explosion. I didn't get six stacks. It's fine, though. Be hit really hard with these bolt casters. I do have 100 spec in all crossbows. That's why I'm hitting so hard. I have the druid robe stacked up to. Well, I did have it stacked up to five. Now I really hate this boss coming up. It's just this is like the most annoying boss ever in the game to fight, honestly. Besides a few of the uh, harder ones. And <laughs> sorry, I had to sneeze, so I had to mute my microphone. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're going to cultist sandals, run past him. I'm gonna wait for him to do that little weird swingy thing, and we're gonna try to machine gun him down. That's gonna interrupt me. But again, I hate this boss. It sucks. Hit him with the flame breath. And now we're going to get knocked back. Nope. Okay, but we're still on fire for another eight seconds, which means I can't teleport out of the dungeon. 6,000 in this chest. So far, we've earned 10,000. But you gotta remember, I filled six of these, that's worth 22,000, and one of these is worth 1,300. Uh, so yeah, we're, uh, okay, now I can t now I can teleport out. Also, I do want to note that this dungeon was a green butterfly dungeon. Uh, not all of them are going to, to have that bonus, but I am also only two zones away. Oh, there's another dungeon, we can just go right back in. 
Yeah, I'm only two zones out, so I'm only getting a 10% fame and silver and loot bonus. If I go one more zone over, which is right here, uh, it will be 15% bonus. So that's where I'm going once I don't have a dungeon that I can immediately enter. Because I want to maximize my dungeons per hour, if that makes any sense. Can I kill these girls with the breath? It, yes, they die. They die to the mage cow. That's interesting. And yes, they, they, the thing is they die to the Q spell, and the Q spell's faster and costs less mana. But it's still, it's fun to do, okay? I can breathe fire now instead of just shooting rocket launch rockets out of my crossbows. I mean, think about it. You know, that makes sense, right? If you, if you get teleported into an ancient medieval world, and uh, you just rig your crossbows to shoot rockets. Why, because why not? Why wouldn't you? Let's go for a red buff here. You know, it's a 33% chance, and we got the worst one, the green buff. That sucks. And yes, I am aware I could be using my boots to, like, run over these things. That way they get armor shredded. But it's whatever, okay? I'm just, la I'm a lazy gamer. We're having a lazy day. It's, you know, 2100 UTC. The server's pretty low pop at the moment. Not a lot's going on. It's a weekday. Everyone's at work. There we go. Breathe fire on him, and then he just dies. He just catches on fire and dies. What a brutal way to go. <laughs> Alright, this is a short dungeon, uh, because we're a, we're going towards a blue chest boss, uh, Arthos. So, it is, uh, yeah, just a little baby dungeon. Just a little, a little quick stop dungeon. And uh, I do kind of, uh, you know, regret not running a faster build, especially if I'm going to record. But, it, it you know... It's more accurate for silver generation per hour, I suppose. I don't I don't know, okay? Let's go ahead and claim our little book there, our daily. And I've got 189 learning points. So I'm going to do some fishing because I want to level up fishing to 100. That's the last gathering that I need to do. Let's go. We're going to hit him with the corruption, hit him with the armor shred W, and then push our E spell. And just look at that damage. <laughs> All right, uh, 27,000 in that chest. Not bad, I guess. We're up to 47,000 in seven minutes. I suppose that's okay. It's not really the best, but it's, it's something. And then if we count the, um, what is it? The mercenary journals we're filling, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad either, those mercenary journals. We got two uncommon wisps next to each other. That's very uncommon. Very uncommon indeed. However, this is not a, a mist farming video. This is Yellow Zone Dungeons. More Wisps. The problem with the Wisps is that they take the place of a solo dungeon. So they're kind of annoying if you want to do solo dungeons. And look at all the Wispy Wisps. Come on, get out of here, Wisps. Shoo, I want dungeons. Give me some random dungeons. That's what this video is about. So we're now we have the 15% bonus because we're three zones away. That's going to make things a lot... Uh, oh, that's a rare one. Oh, I'm missing... Uh, normally I come out here full gathering set and I, I just peek inside just to see if there's any juicy like you know resource nodes but uh, lately there's a lot of 8-4 players uh, especially battle axe users just roaming around and killing everybody in those so they're not as fun but you know they're, they're fun for the ganker I suppose <laughs> all right not so fun for the gatherer though the gatherer cowers in fear of the ganker come on solo dungeons where are you at I don't... What's this? Someone dropped a tome. 17k. Easy. <laughs> uh, that's gonna hurt our results just a tiny bit, but that's fine. You know, it's okay. It's uh, it's just 17k, and I'm not gonna leave it on the ground. This, why do people not loot those things, man? I'm telling you, like... You know, someone could have needed that. 17k? It's it's not it's not a lot. But it is. They add up. Imagine you, you do that a hundred times. That's, that's um, a million right there, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that is over a million in silver if you do that. If that same scenario happens to you 100 times, which it will, if you play enough. And I am really struggling to find a solo dungeon right now. Man, it is just... Uh, no, nah, I don't want to corrupt a dungeon, bro. Give me the solo dungeon. A lot of people out here skinning, they're gathering, they're doing all their, you know, due diligence, I guess. Do I need to zone to another area? Like... This is barren. This is just empty. What is happening? Where is the dungeons? <laughs> oh, man. I need to find a new map. Learn where all the spawns are. Jeez, it's been a while. I'm not doing group dungeons. No, no, no. 
Show me the solo dungeons. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, how awkward. Yep, it's always awkward when you record a video and then you can't find the dungeons you're looking for. But hey, you know, we did spawn right outside of a dungeon. So it, it's it kind of, it's balancing out, I, I guess. You know? <laughs> you really shouldn't be doing dungeons anyway, but I, oh, there we go. You see, that's all you gotta say. You just say, I shouldn't be doing this, and then it'll happen. It'll, it'll tempt you. It'll be like, hey, you sure about that, bro? You sure? Die, rats. Why are you rats hanging out at the entrance? Hello, Mr. Skeletal. Instantly crumbles. Mr. Skeleton just crumbles to the ground. Okay, so we shoot the shieldy boys for 584. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our cultist sandals on the next shieldy boy and then shoot him and see how much more damage it does. Okay, uh, here shortly we will find another shieldy boy. There he is. And cultist sandals, and now we do 684. So we're dealing 100 more damage to him uh, than before. So I think run speed is more important for clear speed than dealing 100 bonus damage. Because I still kill them in two hits, regardless if I do 100 bonus damage or not. Alright, I uh, I missed this one with the fire breath. But look, look at that, man. The, the helmet nearly kills these guys. The helmet deals more damage than my Q spell. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting, too. And, and uh, yeah, I have 100 specs in helmets, but um, imagine if I had, had 120 specs in all my helmets. It would deal slightly more, not, not too much more. Killing ghost bats. That is what I do. I kill virtual ghost bats for my YouTube channel. <laughs> Alright, so one helmet and one Q. That's actually pretty quick. One taser. Let's get that red buff. We gotta have at least one red buff in the video. Uh, blue buff? Okay, fine, fine, whatever. What if we cult the sandals into six stack druid robe into W spell, you know? I'm still learning the range on the f on the uh, on the helmet, but hey, it's it's you know I'm getting faster at it. You know, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, is this purple boss? I don't know if this is purple or blue boss, but let's see. Pro probably just a blue. Oh, well, let's just machine gun him down. I didn't even check the chest. Okay, boss down. It's a blue. Now, this battle, I wanted to mention, okay, if you're ever trying to steal someone's dungeon and you encounter this specific boss, you'll notice this chest did not unlock, 11k, this chest did not unlock until I killed the baby skeleton. So, what you want to do is if you can out-DPS the enemy, you want to kill the little baby skeletons uh, and then kill the boss, because what happens is if you kill the boss and then your, your assailant, the person stealing your dungeon or whatever, uh, actually ends up killing that last skeleton, they get the chest. Okay, it's whoever deals the most damage to the last enemy alive, which is stupid. Really, really dumb. Unless they fixed it or changed it. I haven't actually been invaded in a dungeon in a very long time, so it might be fixed from like two years ago, but I had it happen once, man. This like little like flat four guy, I, I, st I was stealing his dungeon. And I, I just freaking murdered the boss, but there was like a little baby skeleton left on the side and he walks over with his like axe and kills it and gets the, the treasure. And I'm like, okay, lesson learned for me, I guess. <laughs> so in the end, the good guy did win, you know. <laughs> and fire, dude, that fire breath is, it's nice. It like spreads out at the end. I want to get the shrine up here. And yes, I know there's a shrine because I know the tiles layouts and stuff like that. I think the the helmet's a waste on the on the rats. It's nice that the damage is applied so fast. I don't know. I, I'm just enjoying the new helmet. I know PvPers are pissed. Shoot, even like faction transporting, which is what I do. I think the helmet's still viable. I'm still going to use it on my bear paws build so I can kill like faction heart transports and stuff. Alright. You are smashing through the enemy's epic style. Go ahead and kill the little mages. Now, I wonder if I can kill this guy before he shields up. That's the tough thing. So we're gonna we're gonna fully buff here with our druid robe. We got four stacks, five stacks. Let's go. Hit him with this. Hit him with the fire breath. Hit him with. Okay, yeah, he shielded up way too fast. So don't think that I'm doing baby damage. He's he has a shield that literally reduces. He's got 261 additional armor. Okay, this guy might as well be an armored mount, but we still smashed him. Epic style, 15k. 
The, the chests are doing, they're a little okay today. No, no jackpots yet. We just gotta be able to find a dungeon quickly, so maybe there will be a dungeon when we pop out. That's usually pretty lucky. Nope, it's a wisp. Get out of here, wisp. Apparently if you click log out, that removes your shield so you can scare the wisp away. Thank you for the comments for that little tip. That's really nice. You know, if you want to just remove that shield. Okay, let's continue onward. I want to farm that camp so bad. You guys, and I want to farm that guy, so I'm doing it, man. I don't care. I'm killing this dude. That's just, you can't just let that slide. You know, because that's 4.8, that's a whole journal filled, okay? And possibly an item drop. I, I can't, it's too, it's too salivating to let go. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> we already picked up the toe earlier, so. Results a little bit skewed. It's fine, it's fine. We're just... We're just playing with the with the mage cow today. That's what we're doing. We're just mage cowling it up, you know, getting some muscle memory, you know, in the tank, getting used to our new item, our new spell. Just playing around, just having having a blast, having a fire breath blast, you know? This is a bad map for <laughs> dungeons. There's too much roads and slopes and just a bunch of junk everywhere. Uh, we're... If I go to Karns Hill, that's starting to get into Martlock territory. Well, why not? Screw it. We'll, we'll go to Karns Hill. We'll learn that zone because Flat River is just... Bro, Dual Swords got nerfed, man. Feels bad. Feels pretty bad. Oh, well. Uh, didn't level him up anyway. I almost did. I had to make a choice. I did a coin flip. I was like, do I level up bows or swords? And I landed on bows, thankfully. <laughs> So, well, they, they did nerf regular bow, so that sucks. That That's pretty sad. Okay, this is a nice wide open zone, which will hopefully have lots of dungeons untouched by people. Since there's no roads, like, on this entire side of the map, that means there's going to be less players patrolling around, which means it's actually easier to find rare uh, wisps. There'll be more dungeon spawns. It's just a nice little zone. Also... Mar Martlock zones are mainly stone, and people don't need stone, so you don't have a lot of gatherers running around tripping up them with the wisps. Like, if I want to find legendary wisps, it's uh, right here, Karns Hill. There's your tip for staying inside the video for 17 minutes. Uh, you know, you're welcome, okay? But any zone with, like, only one or two exits... There's another good one, too. Uh, let me find it on the map. It's near Adrenans. It's not Croker, it's... Is it? No, no, it's not Falconess, it's not Bronze, I don't remember right now, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's only, like, <laughs> it's only two entrances, oh, well, that's juicy, I'm stopping for that, you, you can't, you, you can't judge me, man, just breathe fire on him, alright, another mercenary journal filled, easy, and, uh, yeah, I know, I could just come out here and do open world <laughs> fame farming instead to fill up these journals faster, but I wanted to get some treasure loot. I want that dopamine hit. I want to feel what it's like to receive... Ooh, here's a butterfly dungeon, see? Because people don't come out here for any reason, so... These dungeons are a little bit more rare, a little bit more tasty, especially during off hours, which is in, like, three hours. Let's, uh, start blasting here, killing the skellies, burn the rats... Just toast them. Just toasted rat. Okay? Don't go to New York. That's a real treat in <laughs> New York, apparently. I wouldn't know. Oh, you can scratch that one off your Where Does Swole Binge Live list. Yes, red buff, let's go. We have the beef. The meats. What does the Arby's guy say? We have the meats. I gotta learn my, you know, cuisine culture. And yes, our cues are hitting hard as heck. What about our fire breath? Look how hard that hits. Does it one-shot him? It almost, uh, it did. That did a thousand and, uh, I don't know, over a thousand damage. <laughs> okay, we can just machine gun Mr. Deathmaster here with his little rat gang. Get this greeny chest with 2k. And continue onward. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's an item. I gotta, I gotta backtrack for that because it could be juicy. It, it was juicy. This one, ew. We're gonna just destroy that so that some poor soul doesn't end up with tier three boots. There, you know, I saw some. I, I've been seeing. Uh, I think I made a video. Oh man, uh, red buff got replaced by green. 
So, uh, in the video that I think I made, which might be already out, I don't know yet because I haven't published it. It's about, like, content creation, YouTubing, and streaming. I forgot to mention a few things that I noticed. Like, I, I went on a huge, like, uh, Twitch binge and looking at all the people with zero and one viewer, and I saw a lot of really disgusting things. Let me tell you about them. Because we got, like, ten minutes left of this farm sesh. Okay. So, one of the things I saw was... I have to kill these because the Reflect will put me in combat, sadly. Let's go ahead and flame breath them. Okay. So, one of the things I saw were guilds. People were using the stream to, like, mass recruit for their guild. And they were doing it for potato farming purposes. They had tax at, like, 95% or something ridiculous at the start of their stream. And by the time the stream ended, they had just raised it to 100 and here's what they were telling people, because they were just sitting in a noob zone with uh, battle mounts and spamming, you know, mass invites, and everyone in their guild was spamming mass invites. And here's the thing what they were telling people. So they were telling people, well, we gave you 50,000 silver, and you would have to kill 10,000 mobs to get that back. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you right now how much silver I get from these two mobs in a tier 5 zone. It's not much. It's 83. But if I went to a black zone, and yes, I know, I, <laughs> why is Swobiji telling us to go to the black zone, what? If I went to a black zone and killed one mob, it's 2,000 silver. If I go to the yellow zone and kill an open world mob, it's 1,000 silver. So, after 50 mob kills, you're paying them dividends, uh, you know, just for joining their guild, and they give you a crappy 50k set. It's just potato farming, it's, it's sickening, it's disgusting, it's awful. This is why in all the guilds that I've ever had, I've always made tax zero, but those ended up not working out because people would join them and then they would do nothing. They just wouldn't talk to me, they would ignore me, they uh, they wouldn't hang out with me or anything, so I was like, what's, what's the point? Why, why do I have guilds for my fans when my fans don't want to even play with me? Uh, sad day. So, that's why I don't do that anymore. That's why I require people to go in the Discord and answer a questionnaire and uh with the questionnaire answered you know then we can see if we're compatible or not so we don't waste each other's time this is how it is man but uh yeah other disgusting things i saw and, and and i hate to make fun of new players but like these are seasoned gamers that have played mmorpgs like their entire life so they know how these kinds of games work there was one guy he had been playing for three weeks and i checked his his twitch like vod you know his backlog <laughs> And he had been playing for three weeks straight, that's 21 days in a row, for about seven hours a stream. And he was still in tier three plate gear. He had a battle axe, and he had uh, a torch, which was fine. And uh, all tier three, and he had, you know, like, uh, like soldier armor, whatever the tier three plate armor is, the soldier boots, tier three, tier three helmet, all plate. And here's what his, here's what he was doing with his game, okay? We're just going to try to... Hold on. Let me try to stack up and just, you know, kill this boss really freaking quick. Let's see if that does it. Before he casts a shield. Before he casts a shield. Oh, almost got it. That one was a bit better than the last one. But okay, so what he did, his his uh, his gameplay loop was to ride around and mine metal and chop trees. And then refine them, tier 3 of course. And then he would craft tier 3 battle axes. Which he was already maxed out on. I guess he didn't realize how the destiny board worked, but he was already maxed out. Uh oh. Marlock is attacking. Better stay clear of that zone. So he was he was already maxed out on tier three axe crafting, and he's just running around, gathering really slowly with tier two tools. Even though he had unlocked tier three tools. <laughs> he's still using tier two tools. And he would gather all day long, maybe sometimes run a, a, a tier 4, like, blue zone dungeon, or, or tier 3 dungeon. Well, just whichever, he didn't understand the tier difference. Like, sometimes he'd be in a tier 4 zone, sometimes he'd be in a tier 3. And, um... <laughs> so he would, he would then go, and, and he would refine the materials, and he would craft battle axes. He would just craft a whole bunch of battle axes. And then he would go to the Mountain Cross, which is like what the Martlock, the Martlock Noob Zone, I think is, no, Highland Cross. He would go to Highland Cross, and he would go to the market there, and he would just sell straight to buy orders, thinking that they're, thinking it's a vendor. He thought that, like, it was just a vendor, right? Um, and he was, uh, like, he, <laughs> each axe, the, the buy orders are really low, even on a tier 3 axe. He, <laughs> 
Each axe he was selling for like 291 silver or something ridiculously low. Maybe it was like 371. I don't remember, but it was really, really low. It's like, bro, I kill like a few mobs and I'm making that kind of silver, right? <laughs> and he would do this, he did this all day, every day, seven hours a day. So basically, his character was not progressing at all. And his... <laughs> He, like, what's he doing, bro? And this is a seasoned MMORPG veteran gamer. And so, you know, like, I, I looked at the stream VODs and I decided I'm going to chat for a little bit because I wanted to get to know some of the little baby streamers with, like, one viewer, zero viewers. And I was, I asked him, I'm like, hey, you're still in tier three. Did you start over? <laughs> he didn't even know what I was talking about. He was so oblivious to the tier system and how gear works and stuff like that. And, uh... And then I started questioning him about his moral views and political views and stuff like that, just to see if we're compatible. Unfortunately, we weren't compatible, so I decided I'm just going to go and... I can't stream snipe him because he's not faction flag, he's not in a, a yellow zone or anything, so I couldn't do that. But I, I could steal his, uh, his precious, you know, <laughs> nodes, his resource nodes, so he can't gather anymore, but... He immediately ended stream uh, before I even got to. But the thing is, is when I entered his screen, he did recognize my name from the chat. And he thought, like, he, he wasn't aware that Albion Online is a fully, like, one server, all population game. He thought that each zone was segregated like, like, a, like a game lobby. Like, you know, there's only a certain number of players that can be in a zone at a time. And that, um, you know, there's many different instances of that zone. So he's... He's out in the noob zone. Hold on, let me loot this. Two, 2k silver. So he's out like in Brent Knoll, you know, farming, and he sees my name, and he's like, oh, I didn't know you could join my game like that. Wow. You know, or, oh, you, you know, are we? Did, was it just luck that we ended up in the same lobby? And I didn't say anything after that because he's technically considered a political enemy, so I'm not going to help him out. Uh, but we can talk about it here on my channel. <laughs> Like, this dude was completely clueless of the game's systems. He had been playing seven hours a day for three weeks. He, he had 11,000 silver to his name. Uh, <laughs> it's like, bro. Oh, man. I felt bad. Okay. I wanted to help him. And I really, like, I really wanted to just teach him a little bit. Just a little something. But, he, you know, I to me, it's like, if you want to learn about a game, you Google that stuff. You look it up on YouTube. And, uh... It's, it's always fun when people don't recognize my name. I know that's like backwards, you know, it's like <laughs> When people see my name and they just think I'm just a regular guy, which I am. I am literally just a regular dude, okay? But man, th this guy was clueless <laughs> Like you know the movie with the the blonde girl that's like the daughter of a lawyer or something and she's just like a total airhead and just yeah, it, it was like that but for video games I don't know how to describe it, man. And I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to bully. <laughs> it's just, you know, I actually tried, uh, j just just one time I wanted to be completely oblivious to, to video games and like, be ignorant, so to speak, right? So I did that in a game called Path of Exile. When I first started playing the, I think it was the beta at the time, I didn't know how much uh, an exalted orb is worth. An Exalted Orb is a very high in-game currency item that is very sought after by crafters and just people, you know, looking to push their power on their character. I happened to find one very early on, 16k in this chest. I happened to find an Exalted Orb very early on and I, was, I, I chose not to Google a single damn thing about the game. No builds, I was going to figure it out myself. And um, so I started trading with this Exalted Orb, and, and people realized that I was new and completely oblivious. And so I ended up trading my Exalted Orb for a four-socket linked armor, okay? Uh, I don't even think it was linked. It, was, it just had four sockets. So I was like, whoa, four skills. That's so cool. That's super rare. Oh, my God, right? So I hand over this Exalted Orb worth, you know, literal six link, I guess. <laughs> I know if you don't play uh, Path of Exile, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But for those of you that do, you're probably like slamming your your hand into your forehead right now, just thinking how how dumb I am. And that's what, after that experience, I chose to never go into a video game dumb ever again. I will never be ignorant to a game's systems. I will do my best to do my due diligence and research, uh, even though it ruins the magic of being a newbie. You, you're just hurting yourself. It's masochism at that point. Okay, so I know my food buff runs out in 45 seconds. 
We're gonna finish this dungeon and then we'll call it. Okay, we did have a bad run-in with not finding dungeons, so... I know some redditor out there is gonna be like, Ugh, it's not 30 minutes, it's not real 30 minutes, this... This is stupid. This is a let's play. Let's just get that out of the way right now. You're, you've been watching and listening to a let's play. Alright, this is not some scientific old, oh, silver per hour pushing the limits, super hard science bullshit. This is... This is just me playing, doing some freaking dungeons, man. Because I'm bored. I wanted to talk to myself. And to talk to myself, I like to record so that maybe someone else out there can feel less lonely listening to my voice as I smash mobs in a outdated legacy content that no one should ever really honestly do anymore. Like, I should just be running, uh, you know, like, open world mobs. Everyone knows that. That's, you know, seasoned at the game. That's just the truth, man. <laughs> Uh, then after this, I'll, I'll, I'll do an MS Paint video I'm gonna film. Uh, here's the idea. Spoilers for possibly tomorrow's video, or whenever I put it out. I don't know when tomorrow will ever come, but... Uh, I was thinking about, okay, so, like, there's a big... There's this big discrepancy between, like, certain different types of people, okay? To me, Albion Online, it's a sandbox you can play out however the hell you want. However, there's people that are like, ew, yellow zone, ew, gross. Like, why would you ever play that, right? And uh, so I'm going to do like a little MS Paint drawing of having fun versus not having fun and frustrations and just kind of talk about all the different things that I do and that they do and how they experience fun and how I experience fun and how they experience unfun and what I would experience as unfun in hypothetical situations, I suppose. I don't know. That's my video idea. It's not really something that's searchable, which as a YouTuber, it's kind of uh it's kind of bad to make videos that people aren't searching for like a lot of people don't realize this but just making a video where you talk about like how cool it is to like eat at taco bell or something like no one cares unless you're a food review channel right uh so like if i made a video talking about oh man the new mexican pizza at taco bell well most of the people playing albion online either don't like or don't have a taco bell and that's just the truth man like <laughs> uh but at the same time, it's irrelevant to the game. It's No one's going to type in Albion Online Taco Bell into the YouTube search bar. So it's like, like I put out the video, my subscribers might view it for a little while, and then that's it. It's a dead video, just wasting away, rotting on the channel, right? But if I teach someone how the best way to craft, I don't know, backpacks and how to profit off of capes or something, that's something people search for even years down the line, and that's... A successful video even though I don't craft uh, bags or or capes so that's why you don't see that kind of video on my channel because I'm not a, I'm not a bag crafter I'm not a, a, a cape crafter you know I I've tried like in my own personal free time to make it profitable without focus and there's just really no way that I found out how to do that besides faction capes but every freaking youtuber out there has made a video about doing the faction capes and so why would i need to make a video on that there's no reason for me to cover that subject when plenty of other channels have already covered it and what happens is every time they cover it like it's good and then everyone does it and then it's bad <laughs> uh and fire breath and rocket launch there we go so that's it for our look at that 10k you know we got we got treasure in every in every dungeon but we just didn't get big treasure we just got little baby treasure but we're gonna take these filled journals now and we're gonna compare that to how much we made in this 30 minutes time uh, so let's go ahead and mount up and then teleport home which is gonna cost me 62,000 ignore that okay I'm being lazy I'm trying to make the video more digestible for you so I'm going to eat that cost of 62k. Just pretend it didn't happen. You can it. You can totally factor it in if you want. I mean, you know, I used to factor it in on my old vids. But whatever. Uh, okay, so let's repair now. And repair is 4k. So I, I already forgot how much it cost to teleport. Now, uh, faction points. I did not get to 9,000, so no chest for me. Let's go bank our stuff and see how much we earned in this slightly over 30 minutes time, okay? I'm going to put the empty journals away and then leave the remaining. So we made 295,000, which is terrible. <laughs> uh, that's like if we rounded that up at 600k an hour, which is terrible. It's just absolutely garbage terrible. And even the silver bags didn't make up for the teleporting home thing. Uh, absolutely awful. I already claimed that. Okay, well, that's the video, guys. I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching.
As always, be your own stay swole. I'm going to smush all this stuff into my chests now and get it all nice and organized. If you enjoyed the video, let me know because I read every single comment, okay? Uh, I may not reply to every comment, but I do read them all. And also, make sure you uh, like the video, of course, of course. And uh, what else? What am I, else am I supposed to tell you? Uh, on the right side of your screen, where I'm kind of clicking all my gear, is a video you should absolutely click, hand chosen by Google, just for you. It's a good one. And I am actually out of space for items, so I'm just going to sell these. <laughs> all my chests are full. I, I, haven't, I haven't cleaned them out. I'm lazy. Uh, also... Uh, down here on the bottom left, there is a join button. It's five bucks a month. It's like on Twitch, when some, when you subscribe to a channel, you pay five bucks. You can do it here on YouTube. It's called channel memberships. You join and become a channel member. And what this does is give you access to private, more personal videos. It gets you access to advanced guides that are too good for the public. These guides, uh, recently I put out a guide on how to effectively flip. Uh, and it's a really good one. It'll make you a million silver per hour if you just watch it if you want to do it I think flipping items is rather boring, so I don't do it and I don't really care too much about money anymore But essentially if you want to learn how to flip an Albion online It's it's an advanced guide too good for the public reason why is if I, I put it out and it gets 10,000 views and everyone does it then no one gets to do it but because I only have 235 channel members and only 40 of them are going to watch it because most of them just do it to support me and not actually care about the members only videos then you're a one of 40 people that will get this information so you can start flipping on the market and making a huge amount of money. With that said, thank you so much, guys, and I'm going to go film another video now, and I will see you in that video coming out the next day after, I guess. Take care.